is from Nara, Estonia. My name is Tina and I will be presenting today. Sadly, I couldn't come to the conference, uh, but I hope you like the presentation and you enjoy the conference. Hello, my name is Tina and I am from Narva Central Library in Estonia. Uh, sadly, I can't be there with you today. However, I will be talking about people with disabilities in a library and ways we can improve library services and resources. To begin with, I, I would like to say that rehabilitation, so socialization and adaption of people with disabilities are not only an urgent problem for the society, but also a prior priority direction for our government's social policy. According to uh, the government development program, and the policy on people with disabilities should aim at providing them with equal opportunities with other citizens in realizing their economic, social, cultural, personal and political rights. Proceeding from the law on public libraries, a library is a social and cultural institution that can provide support in obtaining information, organizing leisure activities for people, uh, and uh, the realization of non-formal lifelong learning. Uh, this goes for people with and without disabilities. In Estonia, lifelong learning is one of the main goals of library advancement. If we are talking about statistical state, uh, data, then uh, as of August 14, 2017, the Narva Office of Estonian Unemployment Insurance Fund has registered 3,066 unemployed people. The number of people with reduced capacity for work in Narva is 892, which accounts for 20% of the total number of the unemployed. Healthcare and social support for this category of residents uh, in Narva is occupied by 53 organizations and institutions. It's a lot of people who are doing their very best to provide people with reduced capacity for work, people with disabilities, their best chance uh, at being a part of our community. The objectives of our work with uh, people with disabilities is creating a favorable atmosphere for people in the library. They are welcomed by friendly and trained professionals who offer them training and a rich and meaningful pastime. We offer computer classes, we offer scrapbooking uh, clubs, we offer different movie, movie nights, we do uh, the best we can to provide people with choices to decide what they want to do with their free time if they decide to come to the library. The second objective is creation of a favorable physical environment. Since September of 2017, our Maker Lab has uh, moved to the first floor. We have transferable furniture which meets uh, the needs of people with different uh, phys physical impairments. People, people can come there to communicate, to participate in workshops, to find new information and just to pass their time. Third objective would be uh, coordination of activities between institutions. The in initiative for holding various events does, doesn't come from only from partners. We go out to institutions and offer our services. We do home care, which doesn't include just bringing books to a, a reader, but also we go to the home of care for people with disabilities. We have performances there, we have read aloud, we come to get people engaged in the library work. We also work with a Russian Orthodox Church in the city. Uh, we have a charity event every Christmas that uh, not only the library uh, works in, but also the community around us participates and helps us to gather a presence for the people in the home with the Orthodox Church. We also work with social department. They help us 
find our target group and we provide different services through the social department. Our partners, as you can see, we work a lot with different government departments. We also work with schools and kindergartens. Schools often have a group or a class for children with special needs. We also have kindergarten that's targeted for children with special needs. Uh, we uh, work with non-profit organizations who work uh, in socialization and adaptation of the unemployed. We also work with different organizations throughout the country. One of the biggest ones is Society of the Blind and the Estonian Library for Visually Impaired. We have three main groups of users with who we work on topic of disabilities and limited access. It's the people with disabilities themselves, parents of children with disabilities, and different specialists who are associated with people with disabilities. It, they can be social workers, they can be teachers, it can be representative of the non-profit organization. And the fourth group, which isn't a main group, is the librarians themselves. We have classes for librarians on how to work with people with disabilities. This usually is more targeted on people with uh, mental disabilities because uh, the group needs more special attention and the librarians uh, need to know how to act and how to work with them. The forms of work with people with disabilities uh, we have excursions where we introduce the library, we introdu introduce the services we provide we have different workshops, uh, we do 3D printing, we do, do robotics, we do scrapbooking, we do basket weaving. We try to provide as wide a variety of workshops as we can. We have different cognitive activities, we do a lot of read-alouds, and we also provide computer literacy courses. Uh, which uh, have been very popular among the people, among the organizations who work with people with disabilities. One of the things we provide, especially for children uh, who may be hyperactive or you know, with speech ther therapy problems, is reading with, uh, with book dogs. Uh, this has turned out to be very popular among not only children with disabilities, but also children without disabilities because in the stage where children are just learning to read the book dogs uh, turn out to be the best choice because they uh, don't try to help the child along and so the child can read at its own pace and this provides them with a freedom to come and try and come and try again and again and again uh, until they feel that they are uh, confident in their reading. On to the main part of our talk, how to improve our services. The most important way of improving library services for people with disabilities is awareness. The library should do their best to see the people with disabilities around them and what type of services they might need. Is there a need for online audiobook repository? Or maybe after hours workshops? Provide the right service to the right reader at the right time. That should be the library motto. It still stands if we're talking about services for people with disabilities. Do your research. See who you have and what they need. The second way is cooperation. Don't be afraid to work with social departments, with other libraries. See who around you works with people with disabilities. What services do they provide? How could you cooperate with them? Don't be afraid to invite organizations into the library, but also to go out and introduce what you do. Uh, one of our main jobs is still providing literature. Providing literature with, to people with visual disabilities can be very tricky if you work in a small library 
and even in some bigger ones. The solution we found is book ex exchange with other libraries. It's a way to have more books to offer your readers and at the same time help other libraries to provide books for their readers. The role of the library is changing, but that doesn't mean one library should do everything on their own. Don't be afraid to find people who can help you and who you can help in exchange. About resources. Use the resources you have, but have the resources you need. Once again, cooperation is a wonderful thing Find organizations who provide audiobooks or tactile books, who offer workshops, who can donate paper or pens. Think creatively about cooperation. Find things they might want in exchange. Maybe it's to use your library room for a meeting. Maybe it's help from a librarian to make a PowerPoint. Also, don't be afraid to use online resources. A lot of audiobooks can be found online, millions of workshop ideas can be found online. The internet itself can be a resource. Use it as a tool to teach, to entertain, to help people see the wider world. If you leave this short talk with me with one idea, I wish it would be this. Be brave, libraries change the world. Thank you for listening.